How do you feel about science versus religion? This is one of those age-old debates where the intensity never seems to die down. Look, I live in Portland, Oregon, a place that is as liberal and science-leaning as any spot you'll find in America. We're talking about a city where the idea of conflict between science and religion isn't even on the radar for most folks. In Portland, the debates are more likely to be about which microbrewery concocts the best IPA or where the best food trucks are hidden. But that doesn't mean I'm oblivious to the fact that in many parts of the world, this is a heated topic. I like to think about it like this. Science and religion don't have to be at odds. In fact, they often cover very different territories. Science is fantastic for explaining the how of the world, how atoms bond, how diseases spread, how computers compute. Religion, on the other hand, tends to tackle the why. Why are we here? Why should we be good to each other? Why does anything matter? Sure, there are times when science steps on religion's toes and vice versa. Creationism versus evolution is the classic example. But just let me say this. Being open to scientific inquiry and empirical evidence doesn't inherently negate a sense of spirituality or belief in a higher power, if that's your thing. What's problematic is when either side becomes fundamentalist, clinging so tightly to their viewpoint that they can't see the other side's perspective at all. That's when dialogue dies, and we end up polarized. Portland might have its head in the clouds sometimes, literally it's kind of rainy here, but one thing it gets right is coexistence. It's okay to question, to probe, to understand that sometimes the questions might be more important than the answers. It's when we're okay with saying, I don't know, that there's room for both science and religion at the table. And isn't that what it's all about? A pursuit of truth, no matter the path you take to get there. So how do I feel about science versus religion? It's like comparing apples to ideology. They can coexist in the same brain, believe it or not. The larger view is how we use each to better comprehend our place in this vast, mysterious universe. Whether that's through spiritual fulfillment or scientific discovery, the real tragedy is when we shut down the possibility of learning from both.